What's up guys, Jeff back with another video review. Today I'm almost nearing the finish line of my reviews of the G.I. Joe Collector Club's membership figure. And today we're going to be reviewing 2016's Mike Power the Atomic Man figure. This reimagined version of Mike Power was an original from the G.I. Joe Collector Club and in my opinion one of the best figures they ever did. So we're going to take him back to the shop and do a great review of him. Alright guys, welcome back. So here he is, the 2016 G.I. Joe Collector Club membership figure, the Atomic Man, Mike Power. To start off, I want to say a few things. For a long time prior to this figure, I think a lot of the members of the Collector Club were clamoring for some reimagined or reinvented characters and Bullet Man was among those, but the club decided to give us a brand new Mike Power figure, which I thought was really cool because Mike Power is a great figure and probably doesn't get the amount of respect that he deserves. Uh, in recent years, publishing company IDW, who does the G.I. Joe comic, has kind of tried to establish an origin story for Mike Power, and they did a pretty good job. Um, of course, you know, a lot of people feel that he is a uh, Steve Austin knockoff. If you uh, do your research on the history of the Mike Power figure, then you know that Hasbro apparently had an agreement to try to do the licensing for the $6 million man, and it fell through uh, to Kenner, so they kind of had to make a figure to compete with that. Probably they had a lot of development done. Actually, 3D Vintage 3D Joe's, had a uh, or 3D Vintage Joe's. I can't remember the name of the site. It escapes me right now. He had a really good history section on his website, which has disappeared since then, uh, about the head sculpt and everything for the Mike Power figure. But anyways, you can research all that yourself. I'm probably wrong on some of that. I'm trying to just remember it from the top of my head. But the Collector Club, this figure here, gave us a brand new head sculpt with this guy. Now, in the... July 2018 edition of the club newsletter, they gave us a description of the Mike Power figure. And you can see he came in this white shirt and boxer shorts, which I have right here. I actually managed to find all this and pull it out prior to this. So this is what he came with, as well as uh, the white tennis shoes, I believe. I'm not sure where I put those. They're somewhere. They might be in a box, but um, it came with white tennis shoes and white socks. Now, along with that, you were able to, like the other figures, to buy a accessory set, which in the May 2016 newsletter, they showed us our Field Mission Alpha 12-inch uniform set, which is very, very much an homage to the old Mike Power sets that they released in the 1970s. The really cool short sleeve jumpsuit, belt, machete, walkie-talkie, pick with rope, M16, map, and a schematic, or a map tube and a schematic of Mike Power as well as black boots. I do have those as well to show you guys. Here is the schematic sheet that came with him. Really, really cool. Really well done by the Collector Club. Of course, the classic G.I. Joe style uh, map tube. We got the cool pickaxe with rope. A nice spy camera. Standard G.I. Joe issue walkie-talkie. And the really nice M16 retro style rifle doesn't even have the forward assist, so you know this is pretty old. <laughs> so you got that stuff. The jumpsuit and the machete and the belt, like I showed you, we got those as well. Now the figure himself came with, we'll talk about it, a brand new head sculpt. So this was a brand new head sculpt, and this probably cost the club quite a bit of money because they had to have this all tooled and made. Um, he has two AA batteries in the back. There's a uh, Phillips screw that removes a plate and I'll try to see if you can see this but his eye blinks 
which is awesome. This is another great tooling addition by the Collector Club. It comes with a really cool, clear Adventure Team dog tag, which activates the eye blinking mechanism. He comes with a clear arm, no action features, and a clear leg. Two clear legs, I'm sorry. So I won't pop those off and show them to you. But the original Mike Power obviously had one bionic leg. And as you can see, let me try to find a... Uh, in the March 2017 Collector Club newsletter, Jerry Gonzalez continued his um, review of a lot of the Collector Club figures. And he did a really nice one of this Mike Power figure. Broke it down. This is a great this is a great review by Jerry. He always did really cool stuff. Uh, in February 2012, before we ever got this figure, the Collector Club did a dossier on Mike Power, which is really, really cool too. Um, I'm not sure. It's been a long time since I've read this. I don't know how much this jives with the IDW origin story of Mike Power, but who knows? Maybe one of these days I'll get bored and try to do a... A comparison but back to the figure himself the accessory set was great it's a nice simple set with some really great pieces the jumpsuit is amazing actually I think the jumpsuit is probably one of the greatest things about this uh, about the set and probably one of the best one of the best accessory suits done by the collector club uh, the figure is nice like I said he has the eye blinking mechanism which is in the brand new head tooling a few downsides that I've noticed just recently on the figure is here, you can't probably see it, but there's some cracking in the plastic. The plastic's fairly rigid, so I keep all my figures from the Collector Club stored in a cooler environment in my basement, out of the heat and out of the sun, so they last longer, but I am worried about some kind of material degradation with that. I guess the bonus would be that Cotswold does the cybernetic explorer bodies and the, you could probably do a replacement if you found one of these that was broken. God forbid that ever happens. Um, but needless to say, this is a great figure. This is one of the best figures I believe the G.I. Joe Collector Club ever did based on A, you got a brand new head tool. So you got a brand new head sculpt you got a brand new mechanism. I'm sure they dropped some some. I'm sure they dropped some serious coin in developing this figure. Um, it was a very popular figure when it came out. I think everybody loved this figure. Uh, there might have been like a handful of people who poo pooed it up. I don't know because maybe the new head sculpt. Who knows? But he obviously comes with uh, kung fu grip hands. They're the more rigid style plastic. Um, just an awesome figure. This is one which I would suggest if you're going to, of all the figures of the G.I. Joe Collector Club membership line, if you wanted to find one to add to your collection, Mike Power has got to be one of those. Uh, and this reproduction figure by the Collector Club is definitely a top shelf figure and worth having. So all you guys out there that do have it, I can't wait to see what you think of your figures. If you had any feelings about it, likes, dislikes, whatnot. We'll go ahead and I'll, I'll show you a couple other things. So when I got the accessory set, I feel like you needed a field radio. So I went ahead and built my own field radio. I uh, made a really cool field radio out of an old broken Hasbro field radio and a formative Peacekeepers of the World uh, backpack bracket. And I just kind of crafted it myself using some clips and whatnot. But I made this really nice uh, backpack. I even put the Atomic logo in there as well. So it has a, a cool radio that pops out. I think I used some phone cord wire and made a really cool radio that pops in there. But anyways, I just wanted to share it with you guys. I don't really get a chance to share this custom very much. So I was looking forward to doing that with this Mike Power figure. So I added a field radio to him. Another cool thing that I want to mention, and I guess take a time to do a, a double review, is Cotswold Collectibles, who, you know, I really like Cotswold. They did a cybernetic, cybernetic explorer outfit with Cole, the amazing maker of these, Mark Cole, the amazing maker of these uh, G.I. Joe clothes. You see him, I think, a lot at some of the collector conventions. This is the only piece of his 
merchandise that I own. I bought this from the Cotswold Collectible site. It was a pre-order exclusive. I went ahead and bought it, but this is for the Cybernetic Explorers. I bought it for my Mike Power figure. It comes with this Defenders era style camouflage shirt and shorts. Nice pair of Cotswold socks. Re I don't even know if these are reproduction Cotswold boots. These look more like actual Hasbro style boots. M45 grease gun and a sticker and a cybernetic explorer dog tag. That was this set. That was a great set. It's one of the few uh, exclusive Cotswold clothing sets that I own. I don't buy a lot of those because I have too much stuff already. I love them, but they're a little bit pricey and it's, and, you know, I got to pick and choose the stuff I want to get. So I don't even know if this is even, this is definitely not available anymore. They only made so many of them, but I bought that from my Mac power and hopefully this year, I can incorporate all this into some type of really cool photo story. So just be aware that how, that uh, Cotswold does do stuff. The Cybernetic Explorer stuff goes great with your mic power if you have this figure. So as we wrap this review up, here is my vintage mic power figure. So this is mine. Um, I got him at a flea market back in 1986 i think i was at uh, a flea market in Terre Haute, indiana i believe and i at the time i was not even aware of mike power or whatnot with the adventure team i don't think my brother had this figure at all he might have stopped playing with gi joe by the time mike power came out maybe not i knew he'd, i know he did have the six million dollar man so who knows I, i'd ask him but he probably doesn't remember but anyways, this is the vintage Mike Power figure next to the Reproduction Club figure. As you can see, two great figures, great concepts. Maybe it's a knockoff of Steve Austin, probably. Who cares? If it's cool, it's cool. I mean, I don't really give a shit. But I definitely think this is a great figure. It's one of the best figures the G.I. Joe Collector Club did. It has great accessories. If you can find him, get him. If you can find the figure, get him if he's for a decent price. I know prices of everything have gone up. Uh, but if you're able to make that choice and pull that trigger, definitely add this guy to your collection. Check out Cotswold Cybernetic Explorer gear sets if you want to add to your uh, Atomic Man collection. But uh, it's a great figure, guys. And that wraps up this uh, review of the 2016 membership figure, the Atomic Man Mike Power. Now, we have one more figure review left, so... Stay tuned, and until next time, guys, cheers.